Have you ever felt like you want to burn everything and pivot into something new because it's been challenging? Maybe you have a new vision for your business. Maybe you want to take your business to a new level, and that requires a big pivot. Last year, December, right before Christmas, I was in the same situation. I had a big vision and passion for my new pivot. I'm starting a new podcast season. Christmas before the pivot, where I'm documenting and walking you step by step what I did in my pivot, and oh boy, I learned so many lessons. In this episode, we're going to cover what to consider before pivoting, how to pivot safely, financially and emotionally, and also how to regulate your emotions because pivot is emotional and feels personal because your business sometimes feels. Personal, especially if you're purpose-driven entrepreneurs. So let's start with what you should consider before you make any refinement, any pivot, any changes in your business. It is easy for us to think if something is not working, and especially when our sales slow down, or maybe the strategies that we used in previous years are not working as well anymore. Our first reaction: We need to restructure everything. We need to change everything. We need to pivot and see if it works. Although your new idea might work, and in fact, there is a phenomena that when you are introducing something new, there is a lot of energy, and you might get quick wins and get quick momentum. However, if you did not diagnose properly what did not work. Before in your business, you will hit exact same obstacle again and again and again and and again. It becomes a vicious cycle. You are pivoting, getting momentum, and then you hit this obstacle, pivot again, and it continues. Before you pivot, analyze your business, see what exactly is not working and what is working and why. That is your first step to introducing new changes. Start making incremental changes. There's no perfect strategy for a business. What is essential for us as entrepreneurs is to keep testing and keep iterating. And incrementality is essential. Breaking down your big problem into small chunks. Test one. Variable at a time. Allow yourself space and time to see the results. Your test from your change you will see in about sixty to ninety days. And yes, it requires patience. Analyze what is not working in your business and how you can fix that. If I knew that before I made my pivot, I would look at instead of. Changing my business model completely. If you don't know what my previous offer was, my previous offer was career coaching for software engineers. I was helping software engineers either、uh, bounce back from a layoff or transition into new specialty, and really position themselves as authority in software engineering and in tech. So that was the biggest transformation: positioning them. As authority and aligning their messaging in the job market that they are authority. I wish I could look at the audience that I was talking to, and instead of just dropping everything and making a pivot, I wish I would start incrementally elevating my audience. Yes, the market shift happened. There were a lot of layoffs in tech. And a lot of tech professionals were affected, but also there are a lot of tech professionals who、uh, wanted to start a business. This is how my current offer was born: mentoring people on、uh, scaling their businesses, man,、uh, mentoring people how to sell high-ticket offers, mentoring people on、um, offer in positioning. Because a lot of tech professionals came to me to my consultations, and they said, "Yes." I would like to have a, a new job, but what I really want, I want to start a business, have a mentorship program, and、I、want to take it to the next level. Instead of burning everything down and say, "Hey, now I'm focusing on entrepreneurs," I could have elevated my existing audience and see who from my existing audience could be ready for that offer and 
incrementally introduce that pivot. So that's one thing that you can do. Test incrementally and see what you can change. If you need to elevate your audience, if you need to elevate your buyer persona, it's totally fine, but do it incrementally. It's not about shifting 360 at one time overnight, introduce a new offer. So how to make your pivot safe? Let's say you have a big vision for your business, which I did. My vision is elevating business owners, closing the wealth gap, helping people to scale and grow and build lifestyle of business like I did for myself. Because a lot of people wanted to build um, their business because they want freedom, they want financial freedom, more leverage and building something bigger than themselves. So I did have that vision, but execute that vision incrementally and allow yourself a runway. What do I mean by that? Every big pivot, if you have a big vision and you're making big changes in your business, that pivot will take anything from 12 to 24 months, a year or two years. What I wish I could have done in my business, I wish I uh, I started incrementally introducing new offer and more importantly, calculate your runway instead of burning everything down. See where you can do cash injections in your business right now, where you can restore existing cash flow because it is easier to sell to your existing audience rather than introducing new offer for new audience, for new business, uh, for new market sector, for new market fit. Secure your cash flow, secure your runway. If you don't have financial runway for two or three years, don't do quick and large pivots, do it incrementally. Understand that when making a pivot, you will experience resistance. You will experience resistance internally because self-doubt will come up. You will think about, am I on the right path? Is it ri the right move? Ground yourself in your bigger why and vision. What is that vision? What you're bringing to life and stay grounded. And also you will experience resistance from your existing audience, from your existing pe uh, people in your, in your audience as well, because people are used to your current version of yourself. And a lot of the time elevating and introducing new offer, meaning you are elevating, you're growing, you're going to the next level. Not everybody is ready to go along with you and it is okay. The third part is emotional regulation. Nervous system regulation is essential. Pivoting, restructuring, scaling, or descaling, changing your business is emotional. As much as we want to detach from our business and understand that my business is not me, that my worth is not attached to my business, emotional regulation is the key. And it is important to lean into your existing support, your friends, your family, your loved ones. And it's also important to seek professional help, seek counseling, coaching, support from professionals who can support you emotionally. What you don't want to do, you don't want to go to your loved ones and dump your heavy emotions that you are experiencing on them because it will damage your relationship. It will damage your family dynamic, y'all. I'm like, listen, I'm speaking from experience because heavily relying on my family and I was just dumping everything on my family. It was absolutely, it caused damage in my relationship. Keep your emotions in check. And this is where emotional intelligence, y'all, comes to play. It's important to understand why you're feeling this way. Detach your self-worth from your outcome. Because even if your pivot is not going the way you want, it doesn't define you as a human. It doesn't mean that you are a failure. It doesn't mean that you are worthless. It means there is something in your journey you need to address. Positioning, messaging, sales skills. It's important to understand why you're feeling this way and also understand what you can address right now and also addressing your limiting beliefs because a lot of the time, our assumptions of our results, it is our thoughts, just our feelings and feelings are not facts and emotions are not 
evidence. It is essential to seek professional support, counseling, coaching, mentorship, and lean on your loved ones with integrity and understanding that not everybody might be ready for your strong emotion. Listen, if you're thinking about refining your offer, if you're thinking about changing your business, if something is not working, if you are in this situation where like, I just need to talk to someone when like, I don't understand what is not working. I wish somebody would look at my blind spots and tell me my next move. Send me a DM. I would like to have a conversation with you. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one. Bye y'all.